In today's video, I am wasting $100 on my Mazda Speed 3. So in my previous video where I got my alignment, I uh, was hinting that I was going to waste $100 on my... Jesus. I was hinting that I was going to waste $100 on my Speed, but I didn't want to like, you know, spoil what it was. And it's something that's going to like spice up the rear end a lot that I've been really wanting to do for like a long time. And I just never got around to it, but here I am now. So, we are at a muffler shop. <laughs> And you may be thinking, what are you doing, bro? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my exhaust tips stick out a lot more. So Bruh. I'm basically going to have them stick out to the point where the whole tip is out. And it may look a little ricey, but honestly, I just love the aggressive look. I think it's going to go so well with the fuser and the wing extension. I'm doing it, man. I don't care. And yeah, I'm spending $100 to get that done. And that's why it's kind of a waste of money. It's kind of crazy to tell someone, yeah, I'm spending $100 today at an exhaust shop to make my exhaust tip stick out like a couple inches more. But... That's what it is, boys. It's funny, the guy was like, oh, like, are you sure you want it to stick out that much? I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? He's like, oh, like, well, like, you know, it gets really hot and you don't want to, like, burn someone's foot or, like, leg or some shit like that. I'm like, yeah, but screw it. So due to COVID, I have to wait outside and it's, luckily it's not too cold, but I think I'm going to be waiting five to ten minutes, he said, till they put my car in. So I'm just chilling right here, literally just sitting down on a curb right now. It's pretty ghetto, but whatever. Here she goes, here she goes, here she goes. Jeez. Jeez. God damn, it sounds good. Oh shit. I just cleaned it yesterday and now it's dirty. Oh boy, she's low. She needs the ramp, she needs, she needs some love to get up. Yeah, they just drove in the car and the guy who's working in my car is like, what? Like, really? People think I'm crazy or something. Hey man, it is what it is. Shout out to Zorro Muffler. Uh, I heard nothing but good things about them, so I decided to go here. So I actually just met this uh, cool guy. Nice Volkswagen. It's actually bagged. Did you guys know that Raceline makes air suspension? Yeah, I was just basically sitting and then I'm like, hey man, I like your wheels. And then we just started talking and all that. And then just talking about like cars and like a bunch of random shit he actually lives near me it's actually pretty cool and yeah i did not know that raceland makes air suspension and he said it's riding pretty good i'm actually really surprised about that but yeah cool guy jeez oh dude it looks so good Alright guys, we're home and as you can see, this is how it's looking. I don't know, at first I didn't really like it, but I don't know, I really like it. Okay, there's one problem though. Like, I, I looked around and I looked really hard. I think this one is sticking out a little more. This tip right here is sticking out a little more than that one. And I like the way this one sticks in. And like when I was at the shop, I was like, ah, uh, like I think it's the same, but now I'm looking at it right now. This one's definitely sticking out just a tad more, but I don't know. What do you guys think? This side, and then you look at this side. Yeah, see this side looks a lot better. That one, I don't know, that side is a little iffy, but I don't know, I may go back there, I may call and be like, hey, like, <laughs> it's sticking out like an inch more than the other one, can you, uh, can you fix that? But, yeah guys, whew, I don't know. I like it. It's pretty aggressive. Anyways guys, it's not a big deal, but I don't know if it's really pissing me off. I'll uh, give them a call and see if they can uh, do that quickly for free because yeah, it is sticking out a little more. I don't know. It's just throwing off my OCD. Like you can just see more of like the chrome part than you can on this side. Like you guys can tell that, right? It's not just me, right? 
but yeah. The next day. And it's the next day and we're back. So yeah, I uh, was just looking at it and I, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going crazy. I uh, asked a couple people and they did both all agree that yeah, one side was sticking out more, the driver's side was sticking out more. I guess you could say it was kind of a blessing in disguise though that they did mess it up because so that side is what I originally wanted it to be and they actually put the side like inside too much but you know looking at it now I'm kind of happier with the way this one turned out than that so I mean take what you can get right several days later and it's about uh, I got the tips fixed on Friday and it is now actually Tuesday so I'm gonna be posting this video tomorrow on Wednesday let me just say guys they freaking fixed it and I know hundred dollars down the drain but it was honestly a hundred percent worth it man like it just looks so good like it just makes the rear end look so good especially when I get my rear diffuser and my uh, wing extension uh dude the rear end is gonna look freaking amazing bro oh my god well, it's freezing freezing right now, but you know what? I'm gonna show you guys right now. Hold on. And there you go. Here's this side. And that side. So yeah, they actually measured it and it turned out that that was sticking out like half an inch more than this one. So they got that fixed, free of charge, obviously. Uh, honestly, I think it was just the guy who did mine the first time that really fucked it up. And the guy who did it now was obviously way better. And honestly, freaking amazing. Yeah, so shout out to Mike. Uh, he's the guy who did it for me at the shop, and he was honestly amazing. He's the guy who fixed it. Uh, great guy. And shout out to Zach. He's the guy who basically like runs it, and he's great. Honestly, I would highly recommend it if you're if you're in the GTA, and you're trying to get any muffler work done or like any exhaust work done. Go to Zoro Mufflers, talk to Zach, and get Mike to do your shit. Um, honestly amazing they're really nice guys like i said i think the guy who i got was kind of janky didn't really like give a shit kind of just like i don't know kind of half-assed it and i don't know i kind of want to go on a bit of a rant right now like i don't know i feel as if that like nowadays they're just like it's just hard to find like shops or like mechanics that really just take pride in their work and just really just give a shit like honestly like i don't know it's like this is one of the reasons why it's hard for me to trust anyone to work on my car. I just, I feel like the problem is, is like people just don't treat your car as if it's their own. Like if I was a mechanic, you know, and I was working on someone else's car, I would treat it as my own because if you don't, then you're really not going to care. And I don't know. I don't know why it's such a hard thing to find nowadays where there are just not a lot of shops, not a lot of mechanics that just, you know, don't take pride in their work. I'm not saying there isn't. I know there is for sure, but I don't know, like... Come on, if you're gonna make my exhaust tip stick out like half an inch more and you don't even notice it, like, and you're just gonna give it to me like that, like, like, come on, man, like, I don't know. I, like I said, there are good shops, like, the shop I took to my, uh, the shop that I took for my alignment, uh, Adrena Garage, uh, freaking amazing. People like that who just, like, are just really nice and just, like, give a shit about your car and what you want and they just want you to be fully satisfied is honestly the best shops. And it's sad to say, but it's just hard to find nowadays. You really just got to, you know, know who who's working on your car. You really got to trust them and, you know, like, I don't know. It's just like, I get it. You're going to charge like $100 an hour, but there, if you're going to charge $100 an hour and do a shit job when there are other shops who will cha charge the same amount, but do it way better than like, like, why are you charging X amount of money if you're not even going to do the same quality of service that another shop would do for the same price? I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. I feel like I'm just, I just sound kind of annoying, but I know that I know some people agree with this. Like I feel as if, if you're a mechanic or you're a shop and you're working on someone else's car, just treat it like your own, man. Like whenever I work on someone else's car, I treat it like my own because you know, I just, I, I just, I just care. Like I, what can you do, man? Like I said, I'm not talking about this shop in particular. Like overall, I would say my experience is really good, but there are just other shops I've been to in the past or not even shops, just like people who do stuff on the side that just just really half-ass shit and they just don't really care and they just want your money and then they don't really care like if you're satisfied as all they really care about is, a, is a, when they get your money, that's all they care about and kind of sad, man. But yeah, my message to you guys, if you're taking your car to a shop, uh, just make sure that it's a shop that just gives a shit about your car. You know, they want you as the customer to be satisfied. Like I said, 
customers always right you know no way around it you know just uh just try to find someone to work on your car that will just care and you know take pride in their work and you know just leave you satisfied when they're done working on your car and you can leave drive off and you know you have that peace of mind that nothing's wrong and they're you know your car's working better than it did before if you made it this far in the video odds are you're that small percentage of people that watch like literally you basically watch my videos no matter what i post and you know you watch the whole thing it basically means you're a freaking og you know you're a real one and you know what i'm gonna show you guys something yeah, if you made it this far, I will show you the rear diffuser. I actually uh, just got home from picking it up and I'm so freaking excited. And for the wing extension, right now it's Tuesday, it's coming on Friday, this Friday. So, and I'm installing the rear diffuser on Saturday. So hopefully I have the wing extension too, so I can install both of them and I'll get two videos of that. But yeah, let me show you guys. And here she is. Oh my God, it is so nice. I have it covered up. Like I have nowhere to put it right now, so I'm just kind of, it's kind of just gonna chill in my car for like the next like couple days till Saturday. But as you can see guys, shout out to Ventus Auto Works. This thing is gonna look so freaking good on the car. I am so excited. It's a full chassis mounted rear diffuser. So it's not just like a easy plug and play install, but definitely gonna make a video about that. And then here's the fins and all the equipment. And then these, I, I can't remember what they do, but I'll explain in the video, but yeah. And yes, one more time, here she is. Rear end is going to look insane, guys. I can't freaking wait. Anyways, everyone, that's about the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I uh, essentially wasted $100 on my speed, but you know what? I mean, it looks like a waste of money. I think, I think it still looks good, but whatever. I mean, I think it was worth it personally, but you know, obviously there are gonna be people, people who think it was just a complete waste of money, which I totally get, but Amen. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay consistent. Peace.